Stanford University. The key to our thermal conversion process is that it uses both the energy from the light and from heat at the same time. So the higher temperature that you go, the more energy that you have to convert actually, and so you can actually get higher voltages out and more power. This will actually seal off um, everything in there from what goes on in here. So you can add your ch uh, sample in here, pump it down, clean it out, get it perfectly ready. And so instead of just letting all the heat dissipate, we actually ramp our device up to higher and higher temperature and then use that in our conversion process directly. And then the waste heat also comes off at a higher temperature and so it's useful. So we can say the difference for our technology compared to regular solar cell technology is really the hotter, the better. And so as we heat up our device, it becomes more and more efficient, which allows us to go to very high temperatures, convert efficiently, and have that high temperature do useful work afterwards in the form of thermal processing. And so we're thinking of the implementation of these new devices as not just a standalone kind of device, but actually as an add-on device to existing solar dish technologies. It's really a um, kind of a conceptual revolution forward, which will allow you to really make solar energy cost competitive or level with hydrocarbon technology. And at that point, then you're no longer reliant on coal and oil. And as we've seen with the BP spill, that's a significant cost outside of just what you pay per barrel. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.